a synth that is good for sound design can easily shape the volume, control the frequencies, add proper character and create motion to the sound. In this video I will introduce you to the free VST synth Vital and we will check out if it has all the features needed to create great sound design with. Before we dive into the synth world I have a free gift for you. Linked in the description below is a free sound effects pack. It's loaded with inspiring cinematic sound effects. They are royalty free to use so feel free to download them and use in all of your products. Now it's time to dive into Vital. Every sound that you will create in Vital starts with an oscillator or a sampler. Vital has three oscillators and one sampler. And you can think of these oscillators as tone generators and the sampler as the playback engine. The oscillators will create sounds depending on the settings that you have dialed into them and the sampler will playback sounds that you have loaded into that. Each of the oscillators has its basic settings here on the left side. You can individually set the level, the panning, the tuning and the transpose of each oscillator. The sampler has its tuning and its transpose on the left side while it's heavy level and panning on the right side. In the middle of each of these modules you have a browser. For the oscillators you can browse what kind of sound wave you want here and for the sampler you can browse different samples. The default one in the oscillators is a saw wave but you can easily change that to a sine wave, square waves, pulse waves and a bunch of different cool wave tables that immediately creates really, really complex sounds for you. One super simple but very undervalued feature here is to create your own wave tables. You do this by just drag and drop any sample to this browser and it creates it for you, like this. The sampler browser has very similar features. You can load any sound from the browser here and you can also drag and drop sounds from your library onto the window here and it will be immediately ready to be played. And if you hit this button it will adjust the tuning of the sample depending on the MIDI that you play. On the right side of the browser you have the more advanced and creative tools. The one I will focus on in this video is the unison section. You can think of this as a way to duplicate the oscillator that you're working on. So a saw wave with just one voice sounds like this. But if we increase that to three, we now effectively have three oscillators playing together with a little bit of detuning. So we can, can increase this up to 16 voices and we can also increase the detuning and it almost breaks the sound at this point. But this is a really great way to create rich sounds with a little bit of movement and some width. The other parameters here are more advanced features that I encourage you to explore on your own because they are super cool. For example, you have the harmonic stretch that sounds like this. The inharmonic stretch. The shepherd tone. And you also have FM from different parts of your synth, like FM from Oscillator 2, for example. So, as you see, you can create really complex sounds with just using the oscillator and not dive into the rest of the synth at all. Make sure to stick around to after the synth walkthrough because there I will show you a bunch of cool examples of sound effects that you can create with Vital. On the right side of the oscillators you have the envelope section. Here you have time from left to right and amount from low to high. An envelope starts with movement when you either play or program some MIDI to trigger it. Envelopes like these are often referred to as ADSR that stands for attack, decay, sustain and release. Here you can shape the sound if you either want a plucky sound like this or a long, lush, soft sound like this.
One of the biggest reasons that I think Vital is a great synth to start out making sound design with is that it has so much visual feedback. For example, you can use the envelopes that we just went through to get other stuff in the synth to move around. This way of getting one thing in the synth to move based on something else is called modulation. So just grab hold in this box with these arrows and just drag it around the synth and everywhere you get these small circles you can modulate. And if you just pause over one of these you get a preview of what that modulation would sound like. So without any modulation this plucky sound sounds like this. And if we hold it over something, this is the transpose. The tuning, maybe some unison, and you can quickly just move around and see what kind of modulation fits your sound. When you have dialed in the sound that you want from the oscillators and you have shaped it with a volume envelope, it's time to decide where the sound will go next. You can decide to route each oscillator individually. The default for oscillator 1 is that it goes into filter 1 down here, but you can change that to filter 2 down here, or you can have it go to filter 1 here and then filter 2, or you can have it go over to the effect side that we will cover in a minute, or you can have it go direct out of the synth. While we talk about Vital, I want to ask you something. I am currently creating a preset pack for Vital that would be free to download when it's ready. I wonder what types of sound you would like to have in it when it's done. Write your suggestions down in the comments below so I know what you want. If you route an oscillator into the filter section you have two great sounding ones in Vital. A filter is a way to let just a part of the sound pass through. Most common is that you let just the low end pass through or the high end. The orange part here is representing the sound passing through, so in filter 1 we just have the low end and in filter 2 we just have the high end. These filters in Vital sounds really great and can tame both aggressive sounds but also thin out to really bass heavy sounds, but they can also add a lot of movement to your sound because almost all parameters in here can be modulated. So if we drag over the envelope over here, we can have that filter opening and closing depending on the envelope. So you can create tons of movement with the filter but you can also clean up stuff. When the sound has passed through the filter, it immediately goes over to the effect side that we will cover now. There are 9 effects included in Vital, so let's take a quick look at each of them and see what they can do for your sound design. First out we have a chorus. This brings out the feeling of the sound getting multiplied with more voices and it gets fuller and more vibrant. Without it... And with it... You have a compressor, this is a multiband compressor that both reduces the volume of the loudest parts as well as it increases the volume of the softer parts. This brings out more energy and more detail in your sounds, without it and with it. There is a delay, this creates an echo of the sound that you have created. You can control how long the echo will last and if you want it in stereo or in mono, without it and with it. Next up is a distortion unit. This cranks up the intensity of your sound and makes it rougher and more gritty. Without it. And with it. Next is an EQ. This either makes your sound brighter or darker. You have a filter that lets you either hear the low dark part of the sound or the bright high end of the sound. There's a flanger. This makes your sound wobble and swirl. This creates a spacey cool effect. Without it. And with it. Kind of similar to the flanger is the phaser that gives your sound a shimmering and swooshing feeling. Without it. And with it. And finally we have a great little reverb that creates the feeling of your sounds being played in a real room. Without it. And with it. I must say that these effects are very well picked and thought out. 
These effects are the ones that you actually need. They are not the most advanced effects out there, but since they are in the ecosystem of Vital, I would say that they are actually getting more powerful than the VST plugins that you can put post the synth. Let me explain what I mean. Since they are inside Vital, you can modulate almost any parameter of them with different modulations inside Vital. And modulation of parameters will make your sound design come to life a hundred times more than if you have any fancy plugin after Vital that's more of a static one. This leads me into the next section, and that's the LFOs. This section is similar to the envelope section since the LFOs also modulate different parameters within Vital, but the LFOs are constantly running in the background of the synth, and you can hook up any parameter to this ongoing movement to create motion to your sound design. You can go from very big strokes like this, that changes your sound very dramatically, to this very subtle, movement that just adds a little bit of life to otherwise static sounds. And the final part of Vital that we will cover in this video is the macro section. These macros has the same kind of arrows underneath them as the envelopes and the LFOs, but these macros doesn't move in any way. Instead they work as multi-connectors. This means that you can hook up multiple parameters to one of them and then either perform complex modulations by turning this one knob or hook this macro knob up to an LFO or an envelope or why not both. Let me demonstrate. So with this one knob you can control multiple parameters within the synth and it's just super easy and fun to work with. Before we dive in and take a look at some examples of sound effects that you can create with Vital, let's just double check that it has all features that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that a synth for great sound design needs. You start creating the sound with the oscillators and the sampler. Then you shape the volume of it with the envelopes. You control the frequencies with the filter. You add some character with the effects. And you add some motion with the modulation. Well, that actually checks all my boxes for a synth for great sound design. Let's take a look at some examples of what you can do with this. These sounds that you will hear are created in Vital with no additional post-processing or anything like that. Vital is great for creating big cinematic brands like this. You don't have to feel limited to use only one instance of Vital. In the next example, I layer two together to create a more abstract and complex sound. And if you want to, you can actually create a full redesign using only Vital, like this. If you are new to sound design and you want to get into the business side of it and start to work on different products, sooner or later you will need a showreel. You can check out this video that covers everything you need to know to get you started with that. If you haven't already downloaded the free sound effects pack that's linked in the description, I highly suggest you do that, it has tons of inspiring sounds in it. Alright, that's it for this video, I hope you found it valuable, take care of each other out there and I see you in the next one.